Evening guys, welcome to your daily dose of win-win, of winning, just winning by doing, it's a daily dose. <laughs> How are you guys this awesome Friday? It is Friday, and I got out of work early today, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing that uh, we're pretty much up to full staff, um, it was an eventful day, sold a set of sheets, um, upgraded somebody, not upgraded, but got in, a, got in a warranty taken care of, and delivered and set up a headboard. So it was a productive day, though uneventful. I like uneventful sometimes, because my anxiety is less. Um, I get anxious, I get anxiety. And like, when I go to work, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm, I get anxious about the day. You know, um, certain things I have to do, and if I don't do it, why didn't you do it? Why weren't you successful? What? A lot of whys. So, you know, when I have a lot of whys being asked to me, um, it, it heightens my anxiety level because I don't know why sometimes. Um, I can provide anything and everything, but again, not everything is 100%, I guess. So, <laughs> regardless of that, um, it needs to be 100%. Um, 60%, nope, there's still 50 left. But yeah, it's uh, it, a little bit about anxiety. Um, I get it on certain things, um, and <clears throat> I try to suppress it, try to keep it away, keep it at bay. Um, sometimes it gets the best of me. Um, lately, it's been getting the best of me. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going through, a lot of stuff that I'm dealing with, both externally and internally, um, with all the changes that I've been making. Um, I literally went from not doing anything all the time, sitting around playing video games for 20 hours a day, <laughs> to getting up in the morning and working out, and eating correctly now, and I don't drink G Fuel all the time, and... You know, I've been drinking more water and I've been, you know, exercising, eating right. That's the physical. Um, personal, I think I spoke on that a couple couple ago, a couple videos ago about being more empathetic with my customers. Um, and professional, just trying to be more up and on point with work. Um, I guess understanding a couple things, um, new understanding about things that, you know, if it's in the store, if it says it's there, that it's not necessarily missing if I can account for it. Oh, gotcha. Well, I can account for it. So with that, I account for some things. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, okay. I was always worried. Like, I'm sorry, but it's not there. I can account for it, though. Didn't know that. Learned that today. Cool. My anxiety got up, though. I'm like, oh, I don't understand. Why isn't this working? Well, it was just here, and it's not here. So what am I supposed to do now? Got some clarification, and everything worked itself out. Um, <laughs> I was a little worried about that. But... At the end of the day, you know, when it came time to go home, I was, I breathed, I actually breathed a sigh of relief. Um, because it's, it's one of those things that we manifest what we think about because our thoughts become emotions and our emotions become actions. If we're, if we're, um, intending in a higher level, more positive thing, with the intention, um, that kind of intention works. Um, I, you know, my intention of good sales or having a good day, um, I've been noticing has been happening a bit more. Um, but when my anxiety kicks in, I, I, it worries me because I know now that my vibrations are lower um, and I'm putting out the energy of anxiety. Um, so, you know, it... it I just have to recalibrate, um, not by impact, because sometimes that works. <laughs> Recalibration by impact. <laughs> no, unless I smack myself up the head a couple times with a mallet. I got a mallet, or maybe I hit myself up. Maybe I hit myself with this. You guys seen this? I'll hit myself with this. I'll just whack myself with that, and you know, recalibration by impact. But yeah, so I just have to recalibrate and realize that you know. Not everything's going to be perfect, and for others to expect perfection is kind of out of their league. But at the same time, 
I expect perfection for myself, or at least I strive for it. Uh, perfection is impossible. It just is. Um, and we are our own, our own worst enemy sometimes. Uh, but as long as I do what I need to do, I put my best foot forward and I feel that I give my 110%, then yeah, I, I, in the end of the day, it's me that I have to worry about if I have qualms with, and I don't have qualms with myself. Um, I do the best I can uh, with what I can. I do the best, I work with what I got and do the best I can with it. Um, I've, over the years, been able to do that, you know. I mean, I started with nothing 19 months ago, quite literally nothing. I had some help um, along the way. I didn't do it all by myself. I had help, people help me. Um, I had, I was, you know, I haven't done it by myself. And that's another thing that I have to realize that, you know, my anxiety kicks in. It's not just me. Um, there are people that will, I can reach out to that will help me, that will assist me in whatever way, you know, they can. For the most part, whether it's even if it's just to listen, keep that in mind too for yourself. You know, what is your support system, regardless of what it is, whether it's at work, um, your home life, your family, whatever the case may be. There's a support system there. Check it out. Think about it. Kind of tones down the anxiety sometimes when I think about it because it's like, well, I can always ask this person. You know, just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Um, as we go through what we got to go through to make the changes we got to make. Simple as that. Because we are trying to be the best version of ourselves. Um, this year, I am changing myself. And I am doing... I am apparently inspiring others to do the same. Um, changes for the better in themselves. Um, and that's awesome. I'm glad. Keep up the good work. Um, those that are doing it, you know who you are. Those that aren't doing it... Um, why not? You can do it. You can do it. This is coming from a person that's literally clocked 137 hours in a two-week period. Time's not the issue. What about money? That's a little bit of an anxiety builder right there. You put it out there, the vibe out there for abundance, it'll come through. Um, let's see. Time, energy, or money, energy. Yeah, no, you can do it. You got it. You know, so, you know, time and money are a lot of people's like, oh my God, I can't do it. If you want it, check out my post. I think I posted it or I'm going to post it tomorrow um, on my Facebook page. If there was one thing that you knew if you did that you'd be successful in, what would it be? Mine is this. I know I will be successful in this. So I'm going to do it. Why not? I know I'm going to be successful, so it doesn't matter. There is no, oh, well, plan B. No. I know I'm going to be successful. And you guys are here to watch the success. Simple as that. You guys are here to watch that success. So, and hopefully be inspired by that success to come along in the journey and do it yourself. Do it yourself. You know what I mean? Why not? What have you got to lose? What do you have to lose? You can't binge watch on uh, Netflix? Guess what? You'll be able to. Your anxiety levels won't be around anymore. Your income will be better. You will feel better. Your mind will be better. Your personal life will be better. And your professional life will be spot on. To where you can sit around a day if you want to take that day and binge watch on Netflix. But. Like they said the other night in one of the videos I was watching, people want something. I want my anxiety to go down. The only way I could do that is to just focus on what I'm doing and know that I will succeed at this. I will succeed at this. People want, you know, good physical health, lower body fat, um, whatever the case may be. They want it. Well, you know what? It takes time. I know my anxiety is not going to go away overnight. It's not. When I look up from my desk and look around and there's no cars in the parking lot, I get the little flutters. The car pulls up, I get the big flutters. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. You know what I mean? But I know if they don't over there, I'm like, okay, good. But if they come in the door, success character jumps out. Hi, how are you? How can I, you know, A, B, C, and D. Simple as that. 
that anxiety has slowly been negated by my success character. So your anxiety, and I probably rambled and you probably didn't get a thing out of this video. I hope you did. If you did, you pick out the nuggets because um, there are a few nuggets there. <laughs> There's a way to chill your anxiety. Find your success character. Your success character takes over and you're good to go. That person puts on the suit and tie or grabs the, the weight gloves and the weight belt and the, and the weight workout and grabs the weight, whatever, whatever it is. The success character goes and opens a fridge and instead of reaching for whatever it is, you reach for an apple if you have one. If you don't, well, then go get one. It's, it's that simple. Doc, it hurts when my arm lifts. Well, then don't all lift your arm. Get it stronger and eventually you'll be able to do that. Just do it. Your anxiety will be lowered. It takes time. It won't happen overnight. Simple as that. It won't. And there's some big changes. Make the changes. Replace the, the toxic stuff with positive stuff. Simple as that, guys. It's, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Focus on it. Do it. You know why? You're awesome. And you're amazing. Yeah, you. I'm going to do it every day. You right there going, no, not me. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you right there. Right there. You right there. Right there. You know who I'm talking to. I do it all the time. I'm talking to you every day. You're awesome. You're amazing. Toxicity. It's got to go. It's got to go. So until tomorrow, love you guys. Peace.